Connor and I, earlier this week, made cheddar biscuits, and I don't think we made them as cheddar as they could be, so we're going to have a little bit of a cheesy experiment today. So, got all the ingredients needed, go back to the old episode and you can get that there, uh, but got a lot of the most important ingredient, cheese. We're going to take our gloopy dough mess, you know, to make the biscuit, and I'm uh, going to try a few things. So, gloopy dough mess, and lots of cheese. Alright, so we're going to... Cheese that up. Really good. Yeah, more cheese than dough, that's a okay. So that's, that's cheesy mess number one. Now, this next one, I'm gonna see if I can make like a cheesy center to the dough, which might be kind of hard due to my fingers being sticky as all get out. But really get more cheese in there. We're gonna do more than that other one. I think that's sufficiently cheesy. Next one, just more cheese. I mean, like more cheese. I'm kind of out of dough, so it's going to be a lot of cheese. All right, it's going to be pretty much glued together with a little bit of dough. All right, so we're going to pop these into the oven for however long she said earlier. We'll see how it goes. Fifteen minutes later, well, let's see what we get. Ooh, look at that cheesy goodness. Alright, now, at this point, if you want to, while it's still hot, you can go ahead and get some more cheese on there. And as it cools, that'll melt, and we'll give those a try in a couple of minutes. Now to give my creations a try. Pretty cheesy. Very cheesy. That's good. And the cheese pancake. That's a cheese pancake. There you have it. Sometimes the best part of cooking Having a little fun, going against the recipe, and just letting you do you. Until next time.